As a cardiac surgeon, you will be at the forefront of medical technology helping to save lives and improve the health of your patients. This is for the newer, newer generation cardiac surgeons. Cardiac surgery is a critical medical intervention that can save lives and improve quality of life. It is typically a last resort when other treatments are no longer effective in managing heart conditions. And advances in technology and surgical techniques have made cardiac surgery safer and more efficient. A cardiac surgeon must have knowledge and expertise, at the same time dedication and commitment, strong decision-making ability, effective communication skills, compassion and empathy, strong work ethic, adaptability and openness to change. Cardiac surgery as a career gives you the ability to make a significant impact on patients' lives and improve their overall health and well-being. It is challenging and intellectually stimulating career that requires continuous learning and professional development. The opportunity to work with advanced medical technologies and cutting-edge surgical techniques. A career in cardiac surgery can provide a sense of fulfillment and purpose knowing that you are helping people in a meaningful way. The demand of cardiac surgery is increasing gradually because of the few factors like aging population. People are getting aware these days gradually. There are lifestyle factors of present age, the technolog technological advancements, and the increase in healthcare spending. About the cardiac surgery in Bangladesh, the first Cardiac care or journey of cardiac care began in 1970 with the establishment of cardiology department in the then IPGMRI under the supervision of our retired respected teacher, Professor Brigadier Malik, sir. And two, two more surgeons about the cardiac surgery, I have to say they are my teachers. One is Professor Esar Khan and the other is Professor M. Nobi Alam Khan. They dared doing cardiac surgery in Bangladesh. I'm using the word dare because at that time with this limited facilities and support system, they started the cardiac surgery and that's why the cardiac surgery these days stand in a good way in Bangladesh. They tried their best and they did for the country, for the nation. They came from England to start cardiac surgery in Bangladesh. At the same time, I like to mention one of another teacher, Professor Syed Ali Ashraf who did the first finger fracture for mitral stem cells in 1960. And you see the population per cardiac surgeon in thousands, that is highest in Bangladesh. At the moment, there are 32 centers in our country, small and big, performing, performing surgeries. And if you look at the last 10 years performance, with year wise it's gradually increasing with a small dip during corona period, last year, almost 17,000 surgeries were performed in Bangladesh. And now about this career path in cardiac surgery. You have to focus on education to make sure that you are taking the right course and gaining the necessary skills to succeed this field and have to stay up to date with the latest medical advancement and technologies. And at the same time, you have to develop strong clinical skills. As a cardiac surgeon, you'll be working with patients who are often in critical condition. You must be able to remain calm under pressure and make quick, accurate decisions. Develop your clinical skills and your ability to work well. And consider specialization because this day's cardiac surgery has become vast and there are many sub-specialists. You can think of considering specialization in a specific area. About CABG, I joined the ICBD at that time, and I was the first best student of MS cardiothoracic surgery. That time, CABG was rarely done in our country, and ICBD is the only institute for cardiac surgery. And I can remember in late 80s, the number of cardiac surgery was around 160, 65, like that, in a year. And CABG was rarely done. Last year, almost 9,000 CABG was performed with the success rate of 97 to 98% survival. About the valve surgery. In the early part of the story of our journey of cardiac surgery in Bangladesh, valve surgery was the mainstay, and lots of valve surgeries performed, but still that was with the 160 numbers. 
Last year in Bangladesh, 1,016 valves are implanted, both metallic and tissue valves. About the pediatric cardiac surgery, huge development. In 2022, 2,334 pediatric surgeries are performed, ranging from PDA closer to arterial switch with 40 GA, and the result was very much promising. Very good survival rate with these surgeries. And aortic surgery has also been begun. Dr. Prashant is doing some in his hospital. Last year, he performed around 40 aortic, and Mogbulo, Dr. Professor Mogulusen also performing. They performed around 40 aortic surgeries last year. We are performing some heart failure surgeries like surgical ventricular restoration, and last year, uh, last year, a ventricular assist device was implanted in United Hospital. And new development, minimal invasive cardiac surgery, the, in Dhaka, some centers, few centers, MICs performed regularly right from ASD to valve replacement to CABG. And for having, making good career in cardiac surgery, we need to need a build a network among this, among the doctors themselves and uh, have to be up to date with the knowledge by through conference journals and having a good mentor. And we should remember that cardiac surgery is an interdisciplinary collaboration. We need to collaborate with cardiology department for diagnosis and management of cardiovascular disease. We have to work with anesthesiology department for anesthesia management during surgery collaborate with critical care units for post-operative management, work with the radiology department for imaging studies, collaborate with the rehab department for patient recovery. Last but not least is the work with research department to advance for this cardiac discipline. And for building career, the challenges include, it's a demanding high-pressure work environment that requires long hours and a significant level of responsibility, commitment, and dedication. It requires managing high-risk patients with comorbidities and potential complications, emotional stress and potential burnout from working with seriously ill patients and their families. It's a lengthy and rigorous educational and training path with many years of hard work and dedication and sleepless nights. Though it's a small job market in comparison with other medical specialists, but still it is very much promising and is going to develop. And of course, we should not forget our social and family life, and we have to balance the work-life social life. Future of cardiac surgery in Bangladesh. Cardiovascular disease account for a significant portion of all deaths in Bangladesh. The government has increased funding for healthcare and expanded cardiac care facilities across the country. I like to inform you that the government has taken a project for development of cardiac surgery in eight medical call colleges recently. Private hospitals have invested in the latest technology and recruited highly skilled medical professionals to provide advanced cardiac surgical services. However, challenges such as shortage of trained medical professionals, inadequate funding for research and development, and the lack of awareness among the general population about cardiovascular disease prevention and management need to be addressed. And before that, I'd like to mention, in India, annually more than 200,000 uh, cardiac surgeries performed. We have not touched even under 20,000. We should have done at least 25,000 cardiac surgeries per year. And our next generation is hopefully come forward and do, the, do this job. And so my young surgeons, I encourage you to embrace the challenges of this field with enthusiasm and determination. Believe in your abilities work hard and never give up. With dedication and perseverance, you can become a qualified cardiac surgeon and make a profound difference in the lives of your patients. Thank you. Sir, stay there, sir. There are some questions and answer session for the young, young group. Before that, i like to mention one thing. Uh, and Professor Farooq, along with actually, if I can remember, Professor Noor Alam Kamrul Hassan and Das Shorojit Kumar, these four uh, the, our first best student of NICVD and dear to be a cardiac surgeon. Sir, if I like to ask one question, if you are allowed to rechoice your career, will you choose to be a cardiac surgeon again? 
definitely I'll go for that because though we feel happy for the patient and for the myself also. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, floor is open for the audience, actually. Please, interact. I am Dr. Kaji Shariful Islam. I work as a professor of cardiac surgery in Anisbury. Recently, I retired. Uh, I had beautiful memories with Professor Farooq Ahmed. I found him as a very, very uh, dedicated surgeon. He had very uh, good uh, control on ICU patient management. I have learned many things from him. I also worked with him Thank in you. OTN outside. He encouraged me. Actually, when I joined, I, I did not uh, know anything about cardiac surgery. But with the uh, passage of time, with the rearing of our seniors, ultimately I could do that. I came to this position. Still, I have to learn many things from, uh, uh, from our seniors, from our sirs, and I am really grateful to you. Professor Farooq Ahmed is a very renowned surgeon in Bangladesh, and when I face trouble to take the decision whether I should go for the intervention or surgery, in heart team approach is not established in our country. In that situation, always I refer the patient to Professor Farooq Ahmed and I get the very good decision about the future management of that patient. And you have got very long experience of cardiac surgery, including bypass surgery, congenital and valve surgeries. In every sphere of the cardiac surgery, you have got the footings there with confidence. And with this long experience in the field of cardiac surgery, now your time to plan for the future development of the cardiac surgery in Bangladesh. Have you got any plan? And if you have got the plan, what, how you can implement that? Because it is your time to implement the policy, how we can make the good cardiac surgeon. Because after a couple of years, decades or several decades, you will be unable to do the surgery. But we have to create the future manpower for the service. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, as a member of the Cardiac Surgeon Society of Bangladesh, from the society of point of view, what we are planning, first thing, the training the manpower. And as it is a teamwork, only the surgeons cannot perform. We need the perfectionist, we need the anesthesiologist, we need the anesthetist. So we should develop and change them this way and plan to do like that. And at the same time, the government has come forward. Somehow government is impressed that cardiac surgery should be dispersed outside Dhaka. Outside Dhaka, only government sector is the Chidang Medical College Hospital. So now government is planning to form, to develop cardiac surgery is eight medical colleges. And I am one of the members of that committee, how to develop cardiac surgery in eight medical colleges. Hopefully, they will be doing this since, and of course, with the newer techniques like the MICS, aortic surgery, all these are coming up, the SS device, and hopefully, one will go for transplant also. Thank you. Nadir Abhanivai. Thank you, Professor Farooq. You are the Iran cardiac surgeon of our country. We feel proud of you. Thank but you. But we have got a lot of cardiac surgeons with good reputations, but once the patient develops post-operative infection, the image of the cardiac surgeons deteriorates. But I think it is not the fault of the surgeons. It is the fault of the, the how the OT was constructed, how the post-operative was managed. So for you, and my question is that, would you recommend how beautiful and effectively the future cardiac OTs should be made in our country? You see, cardiac surgery is a disaster, is a nightmare. The infection is a nightmare in cardiac surgery. So all the time we go on shouting to the juniors about asepsis. We, we use two words, asepsis and hemostasis. So for asepsis, it starts right from preparing the patients. And strict asepsis to be maintained inside the OT. And we have to impress and convince our colleagues, nurses, Techno technologists and all the staff, those who are working at OT and ICU, should have adequate knowledge and impress them to have the asepsis manual and process. Thank you. Sir. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, no, no, no question more. On, on the... Hello. I'm on actor request away. I have seen General Shirajinath, sir, who made the first OT in Dhaka CMS 
It was a high limit of flow. That's why no infections occurred in CMH Dhaka. And I think it should be requested to all the OTs that high limit of flow should be there. Thank you. Mr. Rabban, I have a lot of modular OTs and laminar flow. Sir, there is a uh, large number of uh, interventions going on and the field of intervention is increasing more and more. So do you think your field is being contracted? No, not at, not at all. Not at all. Thank you. Like that, I like to mention I one thing. I pardon for the question, but you uh, just elaborate whether your field is, uh, it should be more elaborated by… It will be elaborated on its own. I don't have to, but… Uh, I, Thank you, sir. I, I recollect when the first trans, uh, percutaneous uh, the dilator by Alan Tibria from Paris, he came in the… Uh, Professor Suvian, our dearest madam, she was there. When they started doing this, this um, commissiotomy with this percutaneous thing, and before that, on CMC was bread and butter for the junior surgeons to do it outside. Everybody is very scary. Well, it is going out, out of hand. But that time, Dr. Rajan, he's the chief of Madras Medical Mission. He was sitting next to me. He said, don't worry, friend. It ultimately, surgery will be needed and will be there. Don't worry. So surgery will be there, and it is the last resort. And of course, I tell the patients, their surgery, I offered them surgery as a last resort. Before that, whatever amenities or possibilities are there, I propose them go and you can enable it. And the surgery should be the last choice. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Farooq. Thank you very much for your nice presentation. Uh, I have the pri proud privilege of joining the MS course with Professor Farooq. Myself, Dr. Sharjit Das, now in Calcutta, and uh, the fourth person is N. Dr. N. A. Kamrul Hassan. So, uh, thank you very much once again for your nice presentation, and, and I enjoyed the last part of the uh, lecture, and uh, I, I am very uh, thankful to you. Bye. In between this, as because surgeons, I can talk now, I can take the advantage, returns it to the interventionalist, do it intervention. It is not a case of CVZ. It is he, what he is doing. Professor Kadir also told that he is working as a chief of heart team approach in the country. And in, that, in that sense, many a time, we send him to patient, uh, send him patients, those who require uh, decision making, whether we shall do intervention, or we shall do uh, CAVZ, he works that. He sends that patient to us or he does the work. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Mohammed Farooq.